Uh, okay guys uh, welcome to the channel and today uh, I will be discussing about my recent online assessment round for Amazon so in this video we'll be looking into quite a few things the first thing that will be starting is uh, how I applied uh, my resume that got me shortlisted off campus and what questions I got in the online assessment round so basically it was for SD1 software development engineer one I applied it through a career portal uh, in the com in the video itself I'll be showing you the resume that I used to apply and also we will be discussing on the questions that I got so luckily I got a snapshot of two of the coding problems that we had so we uh, I basically got two coding problems and few behavioral round with simulation okay so we'll be discussing about all of these things in this video okay oh uh, okay guys so before diving into the questions that I got uh, let me tell you how I applied and how I got the invitation. So, as usual, I applied it from the career portal. I went to Amazon Jobs and from there I applied for SD1. And I've submitted my resume and around three to, it took three to four days or let's say max to max, I guess, five days. And then I received a uh, invitation mail. So, you'll be getting a similar mail to this uh, SD1 online assessment invitation you have all those like details like how long it will be and you will get a button start my assessment and then uh for me i guess for everyone it is hacker rank so i was redirected to hacker rank and there were two sections so the first section was coding questions there were two coding questions and the second question was simulation or behavior or whatever you say so there it was like an amazon portal uh, where you are receiving mails you have to reply back to those mails so it was sort of like uh let's say behavioral questions with uh, mcq as well as simulation based right and the resume that i've submitted was this if you need it i will put it in the description so it was quite simple starting with your name details education experience projects technical skill achievement uh, simple one page resume now let's talk about the coding questions that i got okay so the first coding question that i got was this and i was able to take a snapshot of this i don't know how visible it is so i just give it to chat gpt and asked it to write it in form of text so first coding question was this it was basically uh, subsequences of length k and we have to find out the medium. So it was a like I would say it was an easy to medium level problem from the lead code. So a new Amazon intern encountered a challenge task. Currently, the intern has n integers where the value of the ith element is represented by the array element values of i, x, y, z. And at the end of the day, uh, you have to find the maximum and minimum median of overall sequence of length. And they've given few examples and they have given the function description and luckily i was able to solve this problem and uh, i got all my test cases passed as you can see so there were 15 test cases in this case and all of my test cases for the first problem was passed now coming to the second problem of the coding question was uh this okay and i must say this was uh, a nice question a uh, medium level lead code question and it was quite good so this goes like uh, the question was a bit long and explanation was also like explanation examples whatever they give the constraints are very clear if you read the question properly you don't have to reread -read it multiple times okay so it was like you are managing a network of cloud storage system there were there are n tasks that need to be processed xyz and at the end of the day you have to uh, the task was to assign the segment to the server in such a way that the maximum storage uses is minimized okay so and they gave again some examples fonts and description and all those things for this particular problem i solved it and out of 15 10 of my test cases were passed and then i was quite tired it was two hour long interview so i was quite tired and i moved to simulation part i was not uh used to sit for two straight hours and uh give interviews uh in such a scenario so i just gave my uh simulation round of behavioral question as it is so i just uh i was just like selecting options whatever i think is right uh writing mails or selecting options from there so the second part was also quite huge okay uh not only the first part so whenever you are writing exam whenever you are giving uh online assessment so don't over focus on the first part because uh, there is always a surprise in the second part right 
so be prepared for that as well so these were the two questions that i got for my st1 amazon online assessment if you want i will just ping the link for this online board and you can explore these questions here all the screenshot text and everything is here also i'm planning to solve these two questions in coming video so so do let me know if you want the solutions as well so you can look into the questions prepare it and yeah that's it